Hello and welcome to another BFD3 tutorial. In this video I'm going to take you through expansion packs and content locations and how to organize everything on your hard drive. Uh, I'm going to take you through installing an expansion pack and all the steps that are involved in that with um, authorizing it with license manager and installing it first obviously and then making sure that in the content locations panel in BFD3 that everything is looking correct there. Uh, so we'll dive right straight in really. Um, I have downloaded the BFD Marching Drums expansion pack and we're going to install that. The BFD3 install I've got here, if I go up to the tools menu and go to setup content locations, you'll see there that all I've got installed is the BFD3 core library and that's the library that comes with BFD3 and when you install BFD3 that's all set up for you so you should see when you open the contents locations panel you should see the same as I've got here so we'll close that and then in my downloads folder here I've got the BFD marching drums installer so let's go ahead and install that uh, if you're on Windows, by the way, I'm doing everything on Mac, but if you're on Windows, the, the process is pretty much identical. I'll try and point out any differences, but I don't think there actually will be. Um, so we're going to open the installer. And I just have to type in my password. BFT3 Marching Drums. So click Next. Uh, we agree with the terms and conditions. And um, in some installers uh, which have specific BFD3 versions of the data, you'll get this option here. So you choose which BFD platform uh, to install for. I'm going to go for BFD3 only because that's just what I'm using at the moment. If you're using BFD2, then you'll want the all BFD versions installed. Click Next. And here's the important bit. <clears throat> Where do we install the expansion pack? Well, we recommend that you install to an external hard drive and the reason for that is um, that it's more likely to be dedicated for audio BFD has to stream a lot of data from the hard drive so it can it can often use quite a lot of uh, hard drive bandwidth in order to do that and if you're sharing a hard drive with the system or with audio say from your um, from your door projects Pro Tools projects whatever then that's just going to add extra strain so we advise a dedicated external hard drive but it's not completely necessary if you need to use your system hard drive then go ahead and use it it's probably going to be fine any USB 2, USB 3, Firewire external hard drive is going to be just fine um, so that's exactly what I've got here I've got a um, BFD dedicated drive here and I have a folder called all BFD data and within there you'll see all the expansion packs I've already got installed and there's a separate folder for each expansion pack and the reason for that is it just keeps things manageable um, and if you have any problems with the install or support has to help you out or anything like that then having things in separate folders but all in kind of one location just makes it easier to organize so I'm going to choose that all BFD data folder and you'll see there that it's going to automatically create a folder called BFD Marching Drums. Within there is going to be all the audio data for marching drums. So we choose an installation size, uh, full, medium or small. Uh, basically you want to go for full unless you're really short on hard drive, maybe hard drive space, maybe you're you've got a laptop that you're taking out on the road with you and you just want to test some stuff out but you're really short on hard disk space uh, then you could go for a medium or small install and it will tell you when you change that option it'll tell you how much disk space is required down here uh, but I'm gonna go for the full version so that's gonna be a 13 gigabyte install and it tells me how much disk space is available on the disk that I've chosen here so I'm going to click install and that's going to do its thing okay so the install has finished doing its thing uh, BFD marching drums is now installed thank you very much and uh, if I go over to my all BFD uh, data hard drive you can see here that BFD marching drums has been put next to all my other expansion packs in its own folder 
And if we just look inside that folder, you'll see there that there's an audio folder and a grooves folder. They should be fairly self-explanatory. The audio folder contains all the audio data for the uh, Marching Drums expansion pack. And you'll see here that these files are actually in BFD LAC format. And that's BFD3's own compressed file format, which um, you know inside there is basically a, a WAV file that's been compressed down. Uh, it's lossless compression, so you're not getting any kind of artifacts. You're not getting any uh, lessening of the quality of the sound. You're just getting less space taken up on your hard drive. So that's a, a win for everybody. Not all expansion packs will look the same. Um, some of the older if ex uh, expansion packs, for example, BFD1 expansion packs have a different folder layout. This uh, XFL expansion pack is an example of that. Um, but you really don't need to worry about that. BFD3 is um, compatible with all expansion packs that, that F expansion have released so far. So you absolutely do not need to worry about whether it's a BFD1, BFD2 or BFD3 expansion pack. You can use them all and BFD3 will see them and treat them all equally. So we've installed our Marching Drums expansion pack. <clears throat> There's one more step here in BFT3. Um, I'm going to go over to the content locations panel here. And actually what you'll see is that the marching drums folders have automatically been added to the content locations panel. Um, this won't always happen if it's an older uh, expansion pack such as the XFL one that I just showed you. Uh, you may have to do that manually. And that's really easy to do. I'll show you that in a moment. But let's just go through the process of getting this Marching Drums expansion pack up and working. You'll see that the License Manager has automatically opened. So I'm going to type in my password. <clears throat> and License Manager is going to uh, log into my account. And it's going to scan my system for all my installed products. And you'll see in a moment. Here we go. That F the expansion pack marching drums needs to be authorized. I just click on authorize and there we go, success. So afterwards license manager is going to scan again and it's going to show me all the products that I've got licensed here. So uh, you'll see there, there's marching drums and it's authorized and ready to use. So I can close this down now. We'll quit out of license manager and BFT3 is just telling me that my new content is successfully authorized and ready to use. Hooray! And so now we've got in the BFT3 content locations panel we've got locations for my core library and we've got two locations for the BFT marching drums expansion pack. Uh, one for the audio itself and one for the groove. So if I close that and go to my uh, browser presets for example we can see there that there's the BFT3 library and the BFT marching drums and hopefully if I load one of those there we go BFT marching drums all installed and ready so let's take a look at um, the contents panel once again contents locations panel and we'll take a look at getting all my other expansion packs here that are currently not being seen by BFT3. We'll take a look at exactly how we can get those up and running. Um, I'll start by saying this. If you're a BFT2 user and you're upgrading to BFT3, we've got a very handy way of uh, simply taking all the data from BFT2 uh, and bringing it into BFT3 and that's this button here which is the add BFT2 paths. If you've just installed BFT3 you can open the content locations panel this is after you've authorized BFT3 and just click this button and all your paths from BFT2 will be loaded automatically into BFT3 and there's there's basically no additional setup needed. You will be ready to go. You won't have to reauthorize those expansion packs you can just click this button and BFT3 will be ready to go and you'll have all your old data from your BFT2 and whatever expansion packs you had installed, they'll all be automatically set up for you. Um, the other way of doing this is uh, we can basically go to search folder 
uh, search folder all the button next to it is search drives so I'm going to do that and I've got quite a lot of drives here but we don't want any of those except I know that all my content is on this volumes WD VFD um, drive here so if I click search selected drives the content locations panel is going to start a fairly lengthy search of all those folders that you can see over here and you can see it adding paths as it goes along okay I've skipped ahead uh, because that search took a that scan took a little while to complete but it's all done now and you can see that I've got a whole host of paths now have been added to the content locations panel uh, and that's all this stuff here from my all BFD data folder which contains all my expansion packs so the hard work's been done really by BFD3 and it's added all the paths it needs to know about to the database and it's also added all the kit pieces it's found it's added all the grooves that it's found any presets it's found etc um, and they're all going to appear now in my browser if any of this stuff isn't yet authorized then BFD3 will automatically open license manager um, in order to do that uh, but in my case I already had everything authorized so that hasn't happened um, now the way I did that just to recap was by using this search drives folder so that searched that hard drive that I pointed it to and it basically picked up anything that it found you can also use the search folder if you know exactly which folder you want to go to uh, and another way to do it is to drag any files you want searching straight to the window here um, a couple of other buttons here that we, we should look at before closing this down um, we can select various paths here if you do any kind of management with the files um, actually on your system uh, for example deleting files uh, just to use less disk space or something um, it's not something we recommend unless you're an advanced user you really know your way around the data system but if you do you can rescan selected paths in order to um, just update the database to what is actually on your hard drive um, rescan all content paths will rescan everything uh, rescan user content paths that if you um, are sharing presets with a friend for example and you put your new presets in your documents folder um, which is where user presets are stored then you can rescan that and get those presets automatically added to the database remove selected paths if there's any paths here that have been deleted or moved to a different place on the hard drive you can remove those here the add BFD2 paths we looked at earlier and that's really it there's a there's also a log there that shows everything that's been scanned um, you know if you should need it for any support reasons or anything that log can be come in useful and that really is the BFD3 content location panel uh, oh one last thing the little information button down here will open a second window and you can get some information about every path um, what what things that uh, BFD3 is seeing within that path there so that can be quite useful as well so that's it if I close the content locations panel and go over here um, we should be able to see lots of stuff has been added so um, you know if I want to choose some drums from BFD heavy there are all my kick drums from BFD heavy uh, kits for example uh, we've got all sorts of kits from different libraries BFD1, BFD2, BFD3 jazz and funk um, it's all been nicely organized and is easy to see and that's it really that's expansion packs and content locations in BFD3 I hope that's been useful uh, join me real soon for another BFD3 tutorial thank you